Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, on behalf of the Canadian Credit Union Association, welcome to our webinar, QDIC information session on updated deposit insurance advertising guideline. Uh, everyone will be muted during today's session to ensure clarity on the line, uh, but please feel free to ask questions during the presentation using the chat function located at the, located at the bottom center of your screen. Uh, and please be sure to send to all panelists in the drop down menu. Uh, we'll hold off on answering questions until the end to ensure we cover everything within the hour that we have slotted for the presentation. And just so everyone knows, this webinar will also be recorded and available on the BCFSA website for all attendees. And you can also send an email to depositinsurance at bcfsa.ca to obtain a copy of the recording. I'll now hand things off to Nicole Parr to introduce our special speaker to start today's presentation. Thanks, Stephanie. Uh, I'm Nicole Parr. I'm the Director of Marketing for CCUA. And I just want to welcome everybody today to uh, the presentation that BCFSA is going to put on about their new advertising guidelines for QDIC. Uh, and I'm going to turn it over to Noelle Fontanella, who is the um, Manager of Risk Assessment and Pricing. And he's going to take us through the presentation today. Thanks, Noelle. Thank you, Nicole, um, and good morning to everybody. And um, I would like to welcome you to uh, the presentation today. Um, my name is, again, Noel Fontanilla, and I'm the Manager of Risk Assessment and Pricing at BCFSA uh, within the CUDIC Operations Department. Uh, I would like to thank CCUA for their help in organizing this webinar. Uh, presenting today will be Sharon Fernando from the Risk Assessment and Pricing Team. Also joining us today are Antonia Prilik, Acting Director of Deposit Insurance Operations, um, and Tracy Sexton from the Stakeholder Engagement Team here at BCFSA. We will have time at the end of the presentation to respond to questions about the guideline. We'll do our best to respond to any questions today. However, we would encourage uh, each of you to come with specific questions uh, and email us at depositinsurance at bcfsa.ca. Um, one of our members of the team will pick it up and we, we, we will do our best to answer your questions. I will now pass it to Sharon uh, to take you through the presentation. Thanks again for joining. Thank you, Noel. Good morning, everyone. BCFSA published the Deposit Insurance Advertising Guideline on October 29th. An advisory was emailed to all credit union CEOs and general managers. The guideline sets out both high-level principles and specific messaging that BCFSA expects credit unions to use when advertising the deposit insurance to depositors and the public. As most of you here today are marketing and communications professionals, there is some important information that you need to know, and hopefully the presentation today will make it clear what messaging to use in advertising to make sure that depositors and public have the correct information. The guideline replaces the advertising requirements that were on our website previously, so this is not a new guideline. There are several items on the agenda. We will begin by providing the approach taken by BCFSA for advertising the credit union deposit insurance. You can have a look at what BCFSA has provided to get the right information to your members. Next, we will provide you the purpose of the Deposit Insurance Advertising Guideline. The guideline, as I said before, sets out what we expect from credit unions when you communicate about the deposit insurance in your advertising. Then we will discuss the principles, specifically the ones that were added to the guideline. We will discuss the specific messaging that credit unions are expected to use. Finally, we will provide information on how you can find the advertising material and when you're expected to implement the changes. Next slide, please, Stephanie. The CUDIC operations team, which sits under the BCFSA Regulatory Services Department, undertook a rebrand ahead of BCFSA's integration with BC's real estate regulators. On August 1st, 2021, the Real Estate Council of BC and the Office of the Superintendent of Real Estate completed their integration with BCFSA. The rebrand work resulted in two changes to QDIC's advertising tactic. And the first 
is the redesign of QDIC's fund protection symbol or the QDIC logo, which I will refer to as the QDIC logo from now on. Second is the update to the advertising requirements into the advertising guideline, which we will go through during this presentation. So the redesigned QDIC logo looks like, next slide, please, Stephanie. This. The rebranding, which was rolled out to the credit union system on August 3rd, 2021, included decal with, an, with the new QDIC logo and a new brochure with information about the deposit insurance provided by QDIC. Next slide, please. The QDIC logo represents the deposit insurance coverage provided by QDIC's Deposit Insurance Protection Fund. The purpose of the QDIC logo, like all branding and marketing, is, is to establish trust within your consumers and build awareness of the deposit insurance coverage provided by QDIC. We expect that credit unions display the QDIC logo, the decal, physically at offices, branches, and digitally on the internet and social media networks, basically on all deposit insurance related communication and advertising. The formats are provided by us. The brochure is a valuable source of information. There are answers to the most frequently asked questions about the credit union deposit insurance. We have provided credit unions with the latest QDIC brochure and decal for advertising the deposit insurance. Note use of the QDIC logo in credit union letterheads. The Financial Institutions Act states that when reproduced on a credit union stationery or advertising, the QDIC logo should not be incorporated as part of the heading at the top of the credit union's letterhead. Next slide, please. So the decal, this is uh, an image of the decal that was sent to all credit unions. Um, it should be placed at all credit union branches, service locations, and offices. The decals were just, and yeah, and this was um, sent to credit unions back in August. Uh, next slide, please, Stephanie. And this is the brochure. The brochure should be available, made available to all credit un at all credit union branches, as well as offices of deposit agents and brokers to provide information. Next slide, please. So as mentioned earlier, the rebrand work also resulted in the update of the advertising requirements to the advertising guideline. Follow the guidelines when you reference the deposit insurance provided by QDIC in all advertising developed by credit unions. Use the guidelines because it applies to advertising in print, radio, television, and online. We've made some changes to the principles and messaging provided in the guidelines, which I will get to shortly. But before that, let's take a look at the purpose of the advertising guideline. Next slide, please, Stephanie. So what is the purpose of the deposit insurance advertising guideline? BCFSA receives inquiries from depositors and the public regularly. These questions also sometimes come from credit union staff, deposit agents, and investment advisors. The most common inquiries are, what is the deposit insurance limit? What products are insured by QDIC? Is the credit union deposit insurance backed by the BC government? As credit union marketing staff, the guideline will help you with the advertising, with advertising the credit union deposit insurance in your marketing campaigns. The guideline provides principles and messaging that credit unions can use in their own advertising material to provide consistent, accurate information, as well as to build awareness. By meeting the expectations set out in the guideline, you can help provide accurate information about the credit union deposit insurance, its benefits and limitations, 
so that depositors and the public can make informed decisions about their money and savings. As previously mentioned, the Deposit Insurance Advertising Guideline replaces the advertising requirements that were in place, that have been in place. The advertising requirements were updated to guideline, to a guideline to meet BCFSA's standardized approach for communicating information, expectations, and requirements to regulated entities. Next slide, please, Stephanie. The guideline is supplemental to advertising material issued by BCFSA, that is the Cudic Depot and the brochure. BC authorized credit unions are expected to communicate the benefits and limitations of the deposit insurance when they reference it in advertising for deposit products covered by Cudic, or when they provide information about their products and services, for example, on their website. The purpose of the Deposit Insurance Advertising Guideline is to promote consistency and accuracy of the information on the deposit insurance coverage. The principles seek to prevent misunderstanding and either inadvertent misrepresentation of the deposit insurance. Credit unions should apply the expectations outlined in the guideline to its advertising via print, material, radio, television, the internet, and or social media networks. Next slide, please. BCFS has taken a principles-based approach and updated the advertising requirements to advertising guidelines. The principles provided in the guideline are intended to provide flexibility for BC credit unions and at the same time ensure that the deposit insurance guarantee is not inadvertently misrepresented or misunderstood. Next slide, please. So what are the changes from the advertising requirements? The standards that were contained and the advertising requirements were updated to advertising principles. There are five principles. The first principle, primary emphasis in advertising should be the credit union services. So when marketing deposit products that are covered by the deposit insurance or on a credit union's website advertising, the benefits as a member, the deposit insurance coverage should not be the primary emphasis. For example, it should not be at the top of a list of benefits. Second principle, credit union deposit insurance provided by Kidic should not be compared with deposit insurance of other types of financial institutions. For example, between the unlimited deposit insurance and a limited deposit insurance scheme should not be used in advertising. Third principle, while credit unions can use the word guarantee on deposit product names, such as the guaranteed investment certificate, when using the word to advertise the deposit guarantee, it should be used consistent with the messaging that's provided in the messaging, messaging section of the guideline. Fourth principle, Advertising the deposit insurance should be limited to deposit products that are covered. Advertising mutual funds and equity shares should be distinct from deposits covered by the deposit insurance when included in one advertisement. Finally, the fifth, this is a new principle which is on protection and guarantee messaging. Credit unions should not imply that QDIC and our credit union deposits are guaranteed or backstopped by the provincial government. This principle was added to address inquiries we were receiving on whether the deposit insurance was explicitly backed by the BC province. Next slide, please. And we can go to the next slide. The guideline similar to the advertising requirements provided advertisement statements. The statements help promote consistent and accurate messaging and build awareness of the deposit insurance provided by Curic. The statements are grouped by theme. The themes are protection, guarantee, safety and financial peace of mind. 
The terms money, savings in the messages refer to credit union deposits guaranteed by the QD deposit insurance. So what are the updates to messaging? We removed broad statements such as, you are fully protected by QDIC, you are 100% protected as a deposit insurance only applies to money or savings on deposits. Credit unions should use statements provided in the guideline, in their advertising. Variations to the messaging should not be made. Next slide, please. And here are more examples of advertising statements that can be used in your advertising. Deposits are 100% protected. Um, your credit union name, the credit union name where your deposits are 100% protected and so on. Next slide, please. Where to find advertising material and we can uh, go over to the slide. BCFSA issued QD decals and brochures are available at West Key Graphics. You can contact them directly and the contact information is provided on the slide here. The brochure is only available to credit unions. Uh, credit unions need to ensure that their branches, all their branches, deposit agents and brokers remain adequately supplied. In addition, the industry resource section of the BCFSA website provides access to the deposit insurance advertising guideline. The guideline also provides the QDIC logo file in digital format for you to download for your advertising. Next slide, please. Consumers can also access information about the QDIC deposit insurance from the public resources section of the BCFSA website, including the QDIC brochure. When to start, next slide, please. So our expectation is that by April 29th, 2022, which is six months from the date of the issue of the guideline, that credit unions update the QDIC fund protection symbol at credit union branches, um, stationary and advertising. Credit unions should also review and update advertising materials, not material not issued by BCFSA, referencing the QDIC deposit insurance to be consistent with the guideline. Next slide, please. That brings us to the end of the presentation. Thank you for your time. The phone lines will be me unmuted for questions or comments now. Thank you so much, Sharon. Um, we do have one question in the chat here. Is there an electronic version of the brochure? Their digital version? Yes, we have it on our website. It's in the consumer section of the website. Great. Any other questions from the people? Uh, I know there's a lot of information here and, and it sounds like most of the information has been sent out to you in August and you should have received it by now. If you haven't received it, please reach out to uh, BCFSA uh, to get your package. Um, but if you have any questions now, now is the time. Oh, in the past, the disclaimer online and in materials was also required. Is that no longer a requirement? Sorry, what's the question? Oh, in the past. So this is the past. In the past, a disclaimer online and in materials was also required. Is that no longer a requirement? A disclaimer. Maybe Mike, you could explain what the disclaimer yeah. was about and we can move on to Donnie. Hey Donnie, uh, is there a link to the guidelines online? Yes, there is. Yes, it's in the, uh, you can find it in the industry resource section. Hi, Jane. Uh, Jane's just asking, what was the what was in the package and how was it sent? So we sent um, the brochures and decals to each branch. Uh, this was back is August week of August 9th. Um, just the, those two um, items were sent to all credit union branches. 
Great. It looks like Lisa was able to just pop in where the resources are online. So you can go there. Um, and Josh McKay. Hi, Josh. Our, our market link term deposits. Uh, Desjardins covered by QDIC 100% deposit insurance. Um, we would need you to send us an email uh, on to our deposit insurance at bcfsa.ca because I would we would need to look at it before we can respond to that. Great questions, guys. So, Any other questions for today? So were we able to get more information on the uh, on the disclaimer? Uh, I haven't heard anything yet in the chat here, but. Or you can email us deposit insurance at bcfsa.ca and uh, we can uh, respond to that question. Mike, is just, he just sent a message saying he's looking for the <laughs> original disclaimer to see if he can share it here. So we'll give him a second. Any other questions that we can facilitate at this point? <laughs> Morgan's asking if the deck will be shared with the group. I mean, we'll definitely share the recording, which has the deck in it. Right, and we can share the deck as well. Uh, okay, so the disclaimer, Mike has found it. It says all deposits are fully guaranteed protection provided by the Credit Union Deposit Insurance Corporation of British Columbia. Is that required now? That's what they used to have to. So where did you have, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to understand. So where was this? Where did you have to put this um, disclaimer? In your advertising? Hopefully Mike can just respond to that on the website and on posters and in all advertising. Protection. Right, so this would be, um, so there's this specific messaging that we provided on the guidelines. So I'm not sure whether this is one of those, as long as it's one of the statements on the guideline, um, anywhere that you reference a deposit product that is guaranteed by Kirik, um, you you can use one of those statements, but I can't. Yeah, from the, off the top of my head, I can't. You know exactly tell you kind of if that particular statement is still valid. But take a look at the guideline. There's a lot of state, different kind of versions of the statement that you're allowed to use. So Mike is saying the disclaimer is not in the new guidelines. So uh, maybe we should just sort of take this offline and and yes. we, can, we can get back to you as a part of. Yeah. Posting the recording, we will have an answer to that question uh, for everybody because also Jane Davies has said it's also in advertising. So it sounds like it's uh, people have had this before and have a question around it. So we'll, we'll answer yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and then uh, there was just a question around where can you find the logo, which I believe, you know, it's at on the on the web link that we've posted here. Uh, and then there's another question. S&P index linked RSP or regular accounts covered or not? Or are so again, I would encourage you to email this to us uh, because as long as it's money on deposits, it's covered. But um, yeah, if you, I would encourage you to email uh, that question to us and we'll, we'll respond to you. Great. The brochures must be available in all service locations. Does that include making the digital brochure available on our website? Uh, good question. Um, so I, I, just from that perspective, I think if if you're able to, you know, use the uh, Cutic logo and use it as a, a link to the Cutic uh, website, that yeah. will have all of that information as well in, um, you know, within within our Cutic website. So that that should that should work as well. Right. Uh, does the brochure exist in any other languages, Sharon? It's just in English only. Okay. And then Jane Davies is just making a comment. Since COVID, we have very few brochures and branch, mm -hmm. you know, which is what we're at CCUA. We also have brochures. And so yep. everything's offered in digital and printable formats for those reasons. Yeah. And, and just um, want to confirm again, and I know Nicole asked this question previously, 
Um, we've also sent a first run to every credit union branch. Mm -hmm. So please do let us know um, if you haven't received those. I believe we sent about 200, 200 each, yeah, to each branch, to each branch, not mm -hmm. just to, you know, the, the main offices, but each branch should be getting, you know, I think two decals and then also um, 200 of the, the, the brochures. So um, hopefully that will, that will suffice, you know, during these times of COVID. Great. Well, great questions. So great to see all these. Oh, there's another one. Uh, Mike is asking, can we use the messaging identified for print online as well, or only the statements on the online section of the guidelines? So I think, you know, as long as it's within the, the guideline, um, the, those messaging can be used, um, I think, from uh, what Sharon uh, also presented today, uh, it should be able to be used for, you know, radio, print material, New York, via the internet or social media networks, so. Great. Well, I, I appreciate all the great questions here today. It's good to see these BC marketers online and uh, I look forward to seeing you all in person soon. Uh, thanks, Sharon. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Noel. Thanks for BCFSA for presenting today. This has been really great. If you have any other questions, certainly reach out uh, and we will have a, an, a copy of the recording for any of those folks that didn't get to see it. Um, but yeah, thanks for being so engaged today. Thanks everyone. Thank you very much. Bye. I'll stop the recording now. And thanks so much, everyone, for coming out. Appreciate it.